Uh, the first hot take I got is the Atlanta Falcons and the Detroit Lions win their NFL divisions. Um, in regards to Atlanta, because I want to go into that first. I've already said Atlanta will finish. We just talked about this on our division segment, division winners um, segment a couple weeks ago. Um, and I said Atlanta then. I'm sticking with them. I like the Saints. They kind of moved up a little bit because they have the easiest schedule um, based on um, you know SOS strength of schedule uh, based on last year. But you got to take that with a grain of salt because things change constantly. It's just what I like with Atlanta the most is that they're playing a division that does have a wide range of outcomes. Things can definitely shape weirdly week by week. So there's variance there. Um, and anytime you're trying to pick a division winner, you may want to pick a, a team in which they, that division itself has a lot of either changeover or have opportunities where it's somewhat even even keeled playing level. Um, and again, I think the Falcons have that. Like I said, I think people are really not looking into Atlanta and being a serious threat. But look at what they did this offseason. They've brought in several decent defensive free agents. They've brought they've retooled that offensive line a bit more even. They were one of the better def- offensive lines anyway, and now they're getting even better. Um, with Bergeron, they drafted um, very early second round, mind you. Um, and it, they obviously drafted P. John Robinson, who P. John Robinson is going to be a monster, guys. <laughs> um, shout out to David, who will not. <laughs> He continues to uh, play with me when it comes to this rushing bet. Uh, factor in Tyler Algier, which doesn't make any sense. We'll get to that hopefully soon. Hopefully we'll get to the bottom of that. Just stay tuned. Um, either way, I think Atlanta in general is a team to watch out for. And then I think Ritter, again, I think obviously, like I just said, he has a high range of, of outcomes that could happen. Ultimately, when it comes to him, he could either be, again, benched for Taylor Heineke later in the year, and that could look crazy, which, you know, again, understandable. But ultimately, he could be a guy in which he finishes, you know, dare I say a top 12 QB <laughs> from where he's going. Um, and he really puts it together. He has the weapons around him and really put it together. And the Atlanta Falcons ride into becoming division winner, um, which I'm predicting. I think they have everything it takes to make that happen. I think the team and franchise itself are making all these right moves to get themselves into that position. Um, So I'm sticking with the Falcons. For Detroit, I mean, probably be a little bit more easier to make this case um, because Detroit was that close to come to the playoff team last year. Um, But obviously they're looking to definitely put this together. So the only reason why it's a hot take is because Minnesota won the division last year and they didn't exactly get better. In my opinion, they did, but they didn't. But defensively, they're still a mess. I think Detroit in general um, just has a better nucleus. I think I just believe more in what Detroit's doing um, versus Minnesota. I think Detroit they fall they're following what they want to follow when it comes to bringing the right players in their culture. And I said this when it came to us talking about the Detroit Lions several you know you know a couple months back when it came to that whole first round draft and what they were doing. They were bringing in their guys. And I think in general, if you are bringing in guys that are going to fit your scheme or fit your culture, I think that's a win in general. Um, So if that's trading up to go grab Gibbs and trading away Swift, who's a guy that you just weren't happy with, um, ultimately bringing in with Gibbs, go get your person, put them in your scheme, and let that that thing happen. I think Detroit in general is going to be one of those underrated offenses um, that second – basically a second-year nucleus – you know, team in which their offenses are, you know, coming together on. I think people are going to be looking at looking at that and being like, nah, I don't know what's going on. I mean, like, people are going to like um, on St. Brown and stuff like that. But they're going to be like, oh, Javis and Williams, I could be there. Who's going to take away, you know, the stuff? I think Jameer Gibbs is the perfect guy um, to do that. I think Gibbs is ultimately a, a great talent. I compared him to Alvin Kamara. That's what he looks like. I think that's what it's going to be his alpha comparison is to me. Um but I think overall with Detroit Lions, there's a lot to like about Detroit. Um, I think Derek all solid. Um, I just think there's a lot of things going for Detroit that are going to lead them to winning the division this year. 